you know, I, I love it. It's crazy making sometimes, but I love it. True, true. I mean, <laughs> hey, you know. I love it. Um, but also I think that that's what magnetizes people to it because mm. when it when it comes like that, you know, when it comes like that, I always wonder, I'm like, okay, this didn't come from me in a sense. Like, oh. it just, here's all of this, the universe, and this thing just hit me in the back of my head. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know. Is that God? Is that one of my ancestors? Is that some, it's the creative. some, some, yeah, some wonderful person who, you know, that could be Langston Hughes, you know, shouting in my ear, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but all I know is that it's a beautiful thing. And, and that light bulb moment, that inspiration, that lightning, mm-hmm. not only am I drawn to it, but I can see when I perform that piece. Yeah. I can see the audience. I can see Hi. the lights go off and I can see like, here's the audience. They're all at, they're all at, let's say they're all at the level. Yeah. They're all at the level. Yeah. And then I say that line that hit me and it's like, you see them sit back. Exactly. You see this person do this. You see, you know, you see, and you're like, Oh, they yeah. feel it too. <laughs> they feel it too. Yeah. And, and, and that's when I know that there's something and I call it magnetism. There's something magnetic mm-hmm. about words, about music, about comedy, about that inspiration. Yeah. It is something, you know, in the past they called it, you know, the muses. The muses you know, the muses uh, gave you that uh, or the French inspiration. Call it, uh, je ne sais quoi. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That that something, something that you couldn't put your finger on, but when you saw it, you felt it. Mm. And a lot of times it never left you because every time you came back to it, I know that everybody in this room, there's a song that you can hear and it makes you feel something. You could be feeling one way and as soon as that song comes on, you feel in a different way. Yeah. You know, it has totally grabbed you. It has totally drawn you in. It mm-hmm. is totally taken over. And that's that's that magnetism. That's the allure of yeah. art and the allure of, of just that creative spark. I don't know what you want to call it. The 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 one song that, that has resonated with me that brings that kind of energy to me is um uh, Guapalais, Closer to My Dreams. Oh yeah, yeah. That's every a nice time, song. every time I hear that song for the first time, I heard it. You know, just it, and and that's what I'm when I'm speaking of, because you'll hear me say it a lot. Um, the collective creative or creative collective, that's every, that's everything that has come before and and exists now. You know, um, I speak a lot. I, you know, people tend to think that I, I speak a little different when it comes to create because art and creativity I look at it are totally different than most you know um just like you said Langston Hughes the ancestors that's all a part of that collective you know mm-hmm. that create and, and the creative is the is the energy the spark that you know that ignites beauty to evolve from nothing you know mm-hmm. so the collective is all of us and the creative is um uh, is everything, everything, and I have a song called Everything, Carpe Diem, and that's you know, and and the the chorus of it is everything is everything, and I want everything, nothing from nothing leaves nothing, so I invest in me, and when your eyes on the prize, nothing's quite what it seems. You feast the potluck. How you eat depends on what you bring. So what you bring to the collective will determine how you nourish and feed and the creative feeds you back and what comes back from the universe from that, you know? You know, we're going to get to your song in just a minute, but what you just said, it it reminded me of being at poetry shows. Yeah. And uh, I remember, and I've heard a lot of poets say this, they will say, I got my start at the New Eurekan, you know, Poetry show. I got my start at uh, at Moetry's, you know, Poetry on the Bayou. I got my start at Seven's, you know, I can't even, what was it? What is Seven's show? Uh, Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, I, I've been there. The Poetry House? Not the Poetry House. Uh, no, I can't remember right now, but he had the poetry shows at, on Sunday nights. Yeah, and people will say, camp. when I went there, I heard this. Mm-hmm. And this inspired me to write this. Okay. And this is what made me who I am today. You know, and, and I remember, like, there have been pieces that I've written because I went, I went, I heard the ugly truth spit a piece. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I wrote, um, you know, a piece. I heard uh My name is Zena Shea and I have a weekly podcast called Zenergy which is fuel for the mind, body, and soul. And this is the Zenergize Your Life Goal Setting Package, Volume 1. It comes with the workbook, a journal, stickers, a bookmark, tabs, and a QR code where you can find my podcast. And inside this workbook, you're going to have 16 different principles. The first one I'm going to show you mine is abundance. You have a place to put pictures that inspire you of role models, also pictures of goals that you want to create, goals, journal prompts, meditations, affirmations, all kinds of things to help you focus on this principle to better your life. And like I said, there's 16 principles. So this is a $15 package that comes with all of these things. I've shown you $21 with shipping and handling, and you can get it at laughsandlyrics.com. So Zenergize your life with me. Thank you.